Hey what's up, the Chinese company Yulifon has released a new smartphone, Yulifon Note 11P. I'm interested in this phone because of 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, 48 megapixels quad camera and Android 11 operating system. What do you think the price of this mobile device is? You can buy it for only $150. I was very surprised, because the specifications are very good for $150 smartphone. So I bought it to make unboxing and full review. This is the first video with unboxing and first look. Later we will post videos with performance test, camera test, battery test and pros cons on our channel. Tech Brothers, let's get started. The smartphone looks very nice on the box. Do you agree? It looks like the screen has curved edges, but actually no. On the back of the box we can see main features of Yulifon Note 11P, such as 6.55-inch full-view display, Helio P60 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, 48 megapixels quad camera, etc. Inside the box there is a smartphone, silicon protective case, USB Type-C charging cable, power adapter and user manual. Everything as usual, but I didn't expect more from a budget phone. You have seen how the new Yulifon smartphone looks like on the box, but this is how it looks like in real life. You can see that the bezels around the display are much bigger. They are about 3mm on the left and right side, and 7mm on the bottom. In the left top corner there is a front camera. On the back we can see quad camera and fingerprint reader. A power button and volume rocker are located on the right side. Slot for dual SIM and microSD memory card is on the left. The Elephant Note 11P also has 3.5mm audio jack on the top, speaker, USB Type-C port and microphone hall on the bottom. You know, this is not a compact smartphone, because the dimensions are 165 by 74 by 9mm, the weight is 215 grams. For comparison, this is Elephant Note 11 and iPhone 12. As you can see, Apple phone is more compact. This is because iPhone 12 has 6.1 inch display, while Yulifon Note 11P comes with 6.55 inch screen. Let's talk about it in detail. The screen diagonal of Yulifon Note 11P is 6.55 inches and resolution is HD, 720 by 1600 pixels. Although, this is not a full HD display, you can comfortably watch videos, play games, and even read text on this screen. In the display settings we have dark seam, night light, adaptive brightness, screen timeout, auto rotate screen, front size, display size and other options. As I already said, this is unboxing and first look video, but later we will do performance test of Yulifon Note 11P. In this video, I want to tell you specifications of this smartphone and show and tutor result. So the new Yulifon device has Helio P60 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. You know I have bought this phone only because of 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. I have already tested many budget phones on Helio P60 processor, but none of them had 8GB of RAM. So Yulifon Note 11P has about 160,000 points in Antutu. Some days ago I have tested Redmi Note 10 on Snapdragon 678 processor, but it has about 220,000 points in Antutu. Xiaomi smartphone is about $20 more expensive than Yulifon device. Yulifon Note 11P has quad main camera, there is 48 megapixels main sensor, 8 megapixels ultra wide angle camera, 2 megapixels macro and 2 megapixels depth cameras. By the way, Redmi Note 10 has the same sensors. If you are interested, which smartphone makes better photos, write in the comments below. We will do a camera comparison of Yulifon Note 11P and Redmi Note 10. On the front of Yulifon device is 8 megapixels camera. In coming days we will post a video with camera test of Yulifon Note 11P. The link will be in the description under this video. Talking about the battery of the new Yulifon smartphone, it has a capacity of 4400 mAh. It is ok, but the power adapter is only 10 watts. I think the full battery charge will take a long time. We will check the battery life and charging time of Yulifon Note 11P later. As I already said, the new smartphone from Yulifon has a slot for dual SIM and dedicated slot for microSD memory card. This is a budget Chinese phone, so it doesn't support 5G networks. However, you can use 4G networks in any country in the world. The smartphone has a single speaker on the bottom, and it is quite loud. The sound quality is good, but if you don't like it, you can use 3.5mm audio jack or Bluetooth 5.0 for connection earbuds.
So Elephant Note 11P looks like the other budget Chinese smartphones. However, it has 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal memory. So I'm very interested in testing performance of this smartphone. Also, I want to compare the camera of Elephant Note 11P and Redmi Note 10. They have the same sensors, but I'm not sure that the photos quality will be the same. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers, not to miss new videos about the new Elephant device. Thank you for watching. See you soon.